Hello and welcome. This is our Arklamas Most Wanted Special. I'm Chelsea Monet. For seven months each week, we've been showing you some of the most wanted criminals being sought out by law enforcement across our region. But today, we'll present to you our top 10 Arklamas Most Wanted Countdown. Now, they're all wanted for various crimes, including murder. They're on the run and will be looking over their shoulders until they're eventually brought in to answer for those crimes. So, throughout the show, we'll have phone numbers, websites, and text tip lines scrolling across the bottom of your screen where you can submit your tip if you have any information on any of these suspects. But before we get started, let's take a look at some fugitives that have been captured who are featured in earlier segments. Damian Henderson was captured in Faraday, Louisiana on May 19, 2022. He was wanted by the Monroe Police Department for the murder of Torrance Davis. Robert Clark was wanted in East Carroll Parish on two counts of attempted second degree murder following an incident that happened on April 29, 2022. He was arrested by police after a short time on the run. The next three suspects were all arrested in connection to a gang-related shooting that happened in Monroe. No one was hurt, but authorities were looking to hold everyone involved responsible for their actions. Javon Reed, Roselda Patterson, and Jacaris Williams were all booked into the Washita Correctional Center for their crimes. The Harris twins were brought to justice after evading authorities for a little over a year. Each brother will warn it on six counts of attempted second-degree murder that stemmed from a drive-by shooting on Standard for Avenue in Monroe. Enrico Ferran, wanted in connection to a string of car burglaries in West Monroe, was finally brought to justice just weeks after his accomplice. Now, let's get into our countdown. The following suspects are all at large and wanted by authorities. Remember, use the information at the bottom of your screen if you have any details on the following cases. So, number 10 is a wheelchair thief in Louisiana, still on a roll. Maybe you've seen him rolling around your neighborhood. Take a look. On November 21st, 2021, officers were dispatched to a threat of car burglaries that took place on Preston Loop Drive in Monroe. While investigating, officers obtained surveillance footage of who they believed to be the suspect in the burglaries. You can see a man in a wheelchair rolling down the street, but moments later he gets out of the wheelchair, stands up, and begins to stuff two backpacks with items that officers say were stolen out of four different vehicles in that neighborhood. He then begins to walk away down the same street where he was earlier seen using a wheelchair with two backpacks attached to him, leaving trash and the wheelchair behind. Officers say the individual is not disabled and is described as a light-skinned black male and slightly tall. Number 9. 40-year-old Anthony A. Lowry is currently being sought out by police on several charges. On December 8, 2021, bail bondsmen went to retrieve Lowry on three warrants including failure to appear. When bondsmen made contact with Lowry, he was sitting inside the driver's side of a vehicle on South 8th Street in Monroe. The bondsmen announced themselves and began to open the vehicle door and attempted to apprehend him, but were unsuccessful. Lowry then put the vehicle in reverse and struck both bondsmen with the door, knocking them both to the ground. Lowry fled the scene and has not been seen since. Take a good look at your screen. Have you seen Anthony A. Lowry? He is described as a black male, six feet tall, and 200 pounds. Submit your tip to Crime Stoppers at 318-388-CATCH. Number eight, Kenneth Kevin Tony is or was an inmate at the Union Parish Detention Center. Under the center's work release program, he was employed at Foster Farms, a chicken processing plant in Farmville, Louisiana. On December 6, authorities reported to the public that a manhunt was underway. Police say Tony had left the plant at some point during his shift and is considered to be an escapee. Have you seen Kenneth Tony? He is described as a black male, 5'9", and 182 pounds, black hair, brown eyes, and was last seen wearing a blue shirt and blue jeans. Number seven on our list is an unidentified suspect wanted for a fatal pedestrian hit and run. Here's Monroe PD Detective Josh Sanson with more. 
I'm Detective Josh Sanson with the Monterey Police Department and Crime Stoppers in North Delta. Monterey Police and Crime Stoppers are asking for your help in solving a pedestrian hit and run. Shortly after 9 p.m. on December the 6th, 2021, Janicia Walker was walking near the inside lane of the 1400 block of 165 South as she was headed back to work at the Sonic Drive-In restaurant. Ms. Walker was located and transported to a local hospital where she unfortunately died from her injuries. The suspect vehicle, a black Kia SUV, should be missing a driver's side mirror with other possible front left damage. Crime Stoppers of North Delta is asking for the public to help Monroe Police and the Walker family bring closure to this tragic incident. If anyone has information on this case, please contact the Monroe Police Department at 329-2600 or Crime Stoppers of North Delta at 388-CASH, that's 388-2274, or log on to our website at crimestoppersnorthdelta.com. If your tip leads to an arrest or an indictment, you will be eligible to receive a cash reward up to $2,000. Your information remains confidential, you never leave your name, and you never appear in court. Moving on to number six, a woman went missing out of El Dorado, Arkansas back in 2020. For months, authorities searched for 22-year-old Aisha Jackson, but she was never found. However, detectives say that this is still an active and ongoing investigation into her mysterious disappearance. Jackson was reported missing by family members in November 2020. Shortly before her disappearance, police reports confirmed that her home had been broken into twice in one week. While searching for Jackson, officers say the front door to her home was found cracked open with her phone still inside. Two men were arrested in connection to Jackson's disappearance. Charges were dismissed for one individual, but charges still stand for 46-year-old Kenneth Lee for extortion after he allegedly solicited $8,000 from her family for information on Jackson's whereabouts. Those who know Jackson and detectives say this isn't a case of someone just walking away. So where is Aisha Jackson? And why did she suddenly disappear? Number five, Tyrese Deshaun Key is being sought out by authorities in connection with the shooting that happened at the Hillsboro Townhouse Apartments in El Dorado, Arkansas on January 9, 2022. Key isn't just wanted for attempted murder. He is also wanted for aggravated robbery, possession of a firearm by certain persons, and enhanced penalty for committing a felony with a firearm. Police say Key is considered to be armed and dangerous. Take a good look at your screen. Have you seen Tyrese Deshaun Key? Calhoun, Louisiana isn't your typical scene for a murder, but someone thought otherwise in the spring of 2020. On April 19th, Amanda Aldridge, pregnant with her second daughter, found shot and dead in her own home. Now, no arrests were ever made in this case, and all that is left are unanswered questions. According to authorities, they were dispatched to the victim's home on Richard Linder Road in Calhoun, Louisiana, around 6.30 p.m. that evening. But Amanda and the child she was carrying were pronounced dead at the scene. Investigators interviewed several people, followed many leads, but were never able to make an arrest. Anyone with information on this case is asked to use the information at the bottom of your screen to submit your tip. After the break, we'll show you a suspect believed to be responsible for a shooting that left one person dead outside a popular nightclub in Monroe. You're watching an Arklamist Most Wanted Special on Fox 14.
Welcome back. If you're just now joining us, we're counting down the top 10 Arklemist most wanted suspects who are still at large and wanted by authorities. Scrolling across the bottom of your screen is information where you can submit your tip if you have any information on any of these cases. Here's 10 through 4, just in case you missed them. Number 10, a wheelchair thief, still on a roll, wanted for a string of car burglaries in Monroe. Number 9, Anthony A. Lowry, wanted on multiple felony charges, including aggravated battery, when he attempted to flee from two bail bondsmen and ran over them with his vehicle. Number 8, Kenneth Tony, a fugitive from justice, who walked off his inmate work release assignment in Union Parish. Number 7, authorities are still looking for the person responsible for a fatal pedestrian hit and run in Monroe that took the life of Janicia Walker. Number 6, the mysterious disappearance of Aisha Jackson from El Dorado, Arkansas is still an open and active investigation. For months, authorities searched for her, but she was never found. Number 5, Tyrese Deshaun Key, wanted for attempted capital murder and other felony charges in El Dorado, Arkansas after a shooting at a nearby apartment complex. And number four, the person responsible for taking the life of 21-year-old Amanda Aldridge and her unborn child in Calhoun, Louisiana is still out there and wanted for murder. Our next suspect has a lengthy criminal history with prior arrests for domestic and narcotics charges. On April 2nd, 2022, just after 2 a.m., shots rang outside a popular nightclub in Monroe. Five people were shot, one person died, and the alleged shooter is still wanted by police, and he's number three on our list. Authorities are searching for Stantavius Cloman, who they say is responsible for the shooting outside Club Sippers in Monroe. The investigation revealed a large fight took place inside the club and continued outside into the parking lot where Cloman began shooting. Randarius Golden, who was involved in the altercation, was shot. He was also armed and shot back at Cloman, injuring him as well. But Golden later died from his injuries, so take a good look at your screen. Have you seen Stantavius Cloman? He is wanted on three counts of attempted second degree murder, possession of a firearm by a felon, possession of a firearm by a person convicted of domestic violence, and one count of second degree murder. After the break, we'll show you stunning surveillance footage that captured a gruesome attack from start to finish. That's after the break, stay with us.
just south of I-20, Parkview Apartments and its residents have been plagued with a never-ending cycle of violent crime. After some time, authorities installed cameras in the neighborhood to better protect its citizens. Those same cameras bring us to number two, a cold-blooded killer wanted on two counts of second-degree murder, and it was all caught on camera. 18-year-old Delarius Jones has been on the run for almost two years now and stands accused of taking the life of Malcra Smith and LaMarcus Plater. It was Tuesday, September 1st, 2020, just before 7.30 a.m. Officers responded to reports of shots being fired at Parkview Apartments. When officers arrived, they found the bodies of two men in the parking lot, both with visible gunshot wounds and undoubtedly dead. Early in the investigation, management at the apartment complex released surveillance footage that captured the gruesome attack from start to finish. Several individuals can be seen in the parking lot of the complex. As two men were talking, Jones, who was identified by witnesses and an informant later in the investigation, can be seen reaching over one man's shoulder with a handgun and fires multiple times. After shooting and killing the first victim, he then chases another man and fires several more times, leading to his death. No one has seen nor heard from Jones since the shooting and authorities say he is considered to be armed and dangerous. Take a good look at your screen. Have you seen Delirious Jones? He is described as a black male, 6'1", and 220 pounds. When we come back, we'll show you our number one most wanted suspect in the Arklamas. Stay with us. After a certain amount of time on good behavior, including other stipulations, some inmates have the privilege to work in the real world while still serving time. They are the most trusted of inmates among the facility. Number one on our list is a Union Parish work release inmate who worked at Foster Farms and Farmable and thought he could get away with murder and take a shortcut back to real life. 48-year-old Bruce Causey of Baton Rouge is still on the run. On Thursday, April 12, 2022, first responders were dispatched to Foster Farms, a chicken processing plant in Farmville, Louisiana, in reference to a stabbing. The victim was taken to a local hospital with serious injuries and later died. 
Authorities confirmed the last place Causey was seen was in Monroe around 11 a.m. that Thursday morning. However, investigators believe he may have fled to South Louisiana. He was set to be released from prison September 9th of 2022. Have you seen Bruce Causey? He is described as a black male, 5'9", and 235 pounds. Don't go just yet because after the break, we'll show you an unsolved murder of a 10-year-old boy out of Bastrop, Louisiana. Stay with us. Before we go, we cannot forget about the shooting that led to the death of 10-year-old LeBron Robinson of Bastrop, Louisiana. The investigation never led to an arrest, leaving his mother and siblings still searching for answers. It was the 4th of July, 2021, around 9.50 p.m. Authorities were dispatched to a drive-by shooting on Carbon Plant Road in Bastrop. When officers arrived, they found 10-year-old Robinson suffering from a gunshot wound to the chest and was transferred to Morehouse General Hospital where he later succumbed to his injuries. Early in the investigation, police mentioned there was a large crowd on the scene at the time of the shooting, but when police asked people what happened, everyone claimed not to have seen anything. LeBron Robinson was laid to rest on Friday, July 9, 2021. That's all for now. For Arklamist Most Wanted on your weather station, I'm Chelsea Monet. Make it a good night.